hello and welcome back to my channel and today I'm here to share um, one of my how to kill a kit with style uh, layouts and this one this one I think might be one of my favorites I think this is going to stick out as one of my favorites this month for sure um, so the first thing I want to tell you yesterday I'm having a bit of a stressful week but there you go so scrapbooking to the rescue and yesterday my awesome the awesome new stencils the three pack from Paige Taylor Evans arrived and so I had to had to start using it and had to get it on a page so Kelsey I dug out this beautiful Heidi Swap um, texture paste that was in my uh, goodie bag from you and therefore in my kill a kit with style for August and I used this lovely stencil. So my background here is just some Vicky Booten Foundations paper because when I started, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do a little bit of watercoloring underneath or maybe some misting on top. But when I used this stencil in three different places with this lovely paste that has just a lovely little shimmer to it. Can you see that? I hope the camera is picking it up. It's just beautiful. Really, it doesn't need anything else. So, my foundations paper, this gorgeous stencil in three different places, and that sort of gave me... And I already had the idea that I wanted to um, work some patterned paper down the side here, but some patterned paper that I really love that I wanted to show... Um, and then have another area be the focal point for my photo. So I took this um, paper from, I believe this is from Whimsical. Yeah, from Whimsical. And if you recall, when I did my kit share, I said I might want to try and do some fussy cutting out here. And that's exactly what I did. So I fussy cut down here to give a little bit um, of interest and, and different sort of shape and to let this doily, um, stencil doily, show through. And then um, I just took a couple of other of the papers that I had and just did some torn edges, roughed them up just slightly, just with my fingernail. I didn't here actually use on these two pieces. I did not use uh, a distressing tool, whereas I did use a distressing tool down here because it was a straight edge. Then I inked all of these edges just using some Stampin' Up! ink in a navy. It's called Midnight Muse. Uh, so I inked up this lovely hexagon paper uh, and these two on the side. And I thought that just gave some fun little interest. It balances out um, the mixed media that I have here going on. And therefore I decided to go almost central, a little right of central with my photo at just a little bit of an angle. It is uh, uh, popped up on some foam. I put a doily behind here just to add to this kind of circular shape to soften the edges so that we don't just have the stark um, right angles uh, everywhere. And so that's sort of as far as I got. And then I said, okay, now what am I going to do? This is of my grandniece. They went to California um, for a little bit of a holiday this summer, the family. And this is the younger of my two grandnieces. And I think that's, is that Santa Monica Pier? I believe it is. Um, so then I thought, okay. So I started playing around with, with embellishments in the top corners as well as the bottom corners. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna fill this little hole with some very tiny embellishment. And then I'm gonna work on the bottom here as if I had a little bit of sort of a folder that I was inserting the photo in. And I absolutely love it. And going on from now, the challenge that Christy had given us in the Secret Not Secret Kid Club Party, I found this didn't really need a title. So there is no title. There was no perfect place for one. I guess I could have put something here, um, but I didn't really want anything sticking out here because then I would have to fill in there. So, you know, yada, yada, on and on. So in the end, I went and I got some lovely florals 
from the Whimsical Collection in all of these colors. Did a nice little um, embellishment cluster here underneath the photo. Um, some of the, the areas of these are on pop dots. The leaves here are flat. Um, and I just, as I mentioned, framed sort of the bottom so that I could insert the photo. Uh, up here, I got a couple of puffy stickers, the tiny little puffy stickers from Whimsical, the Happy Life Alpha, to just put the date, the date here, July 2019. That's all I think maybe in years to come we need to remember. Um, and then again, some of those little tiny puffy stickers from the Whimsical collection that I added here. Hello, Wander. And then I got the sequin mix uh, that Christina has sent me, the exclusive sequin mix by Spiegel Mom Scraps to go along with the Whimsical collection for Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So I got that out and I went with sort of the purple and turquoises. And although the background here is pink, I found there was so much color going on here that that complemented everything quite well. So three little clusters here of one purple and one flat um, uh, turquoise sequins here, two little clusters there so that I have five in all. And there you have it. So I absolutely love this layout and I've really been playing a lot with stencils lately and enjoying them. And what I'm doing is often when I have some paste left, um, I take out my sort of journal, my little bit of my art journal, and I finish it in there, or I do another background, and in the next layout I share with you, I'll be showing you a couple of extra backgrounds that I made, not with this stencil, but with some stencils I've been playing with. So, uh, don't forget to follow all of my How to Kill a Kit with Style friends. All the links will be down below. There are some lovely, lovely kits and projects so far this month. Um, tell me, is this the kind of layout that you like? Do you like uh, stenciling and using some texture paste on your background? Uh, what do you do with stencils? And do you have a favorite uh, brand of stencils? And the Paige Evan ones, uh, together with Vicki Booten, uh, are quickly becoming my very, very, very favorites. Um, although, of course, the Tim Holtz stencils are always a staple. So there you go. Thanks for joining me. Tell me what you're up to this August. Anybody on holiday having some scrappy retreats? What's going on in your scrappy life? Talk to you soon. Bye.